See the formula over here. This is the derivative when you have a variable raised to a power, okay? And you can see this is n times x to the n minus 1. What we do is we take this power, we bring it down in front of the uh, base here, and we subtract 1 from the exponent. So it goes down by 1 degree. <clears throat> so we're going to take a look at some examples. So say we want to take the derivative of this trinomial, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. You can see the powers here. We have x to the second power, x to the first power, and just a constant 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this power, we're going to bring it down in front of the, okay, the base here, x. There's a 3 there, and this is uh, the, what's called the constant multiple rule, but you're going to multiply this times a 3, that's going to be 6, x to the, and you're going to want to subtract 1 from the power, so that's going to become x to the first. When we take the derivative of 2x, okay, you don't see it, but there's a 1 there. When we bring the 1 down in front, 1 times 2 is 2. This is going to be x to the 1 minus 1, which is 0. Okay, but anything to the 0 power is just going to be 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And then if we take the derivative of a constant, the derivative of a constant is always going to be 0. Again, 0 is nothing. We don't have to write that. So our derivative is just going to be 6x plus 2. Now, remember what a derivative is. It's really a formula for the slope of the tangent line to this graph or to this curve along any point. So here we have a formula for finding that slope of the tangent line to this graph. Let's look at another example. So this one here we have 5 divided by x squared. Well, okay, one of the important things in calculus as you're starting to get into this course further is that you'll be rewriting and putting in different forms to make it easier to work with. So what we can do is we can rewrite this as 5 times x to the negative 2 power, because remember, when you bring this from one side of the fraction bar to the other, you change the uh, exponent sign to the opposite. Okay, so we've rewritten it so it fits this power format, okay? And so now what we're going to do, we're going to take the derivative. So what we do is we take that exponent, we bring it down in front of the variable in front of the base. There's a 5 there already, so by the constant multiple rule, we're just going to multiply by 5. That gives us negative 10 x to the, now you want to subtract 1. Sometimes students get a little bit confused here, but you just want to subtract 1. So this is actually going to make it a larger number, but it's a larger negative number, right? And then we can finally, we can rewrite this as negative 10 divided by x cubed. So the negative exponent, just it's just affecting the base x here, and we're taking the reciprocal moving it back to the denominator. So you already know that from some of your previous classes, but just wanted to remind you about that. And then this last one, here we have square root of x, but again, you can rewrite this as x to the 1 half power. Remember the denominator, that's the root, right? And the numerator, that's the power. So this is really like x to the 1 half power. So now it fits our power format, and we can use the power rule to take the derivative. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the 1 half, we're going to bring it down in front of the x, and then we're going to subtract 1. So 1 half minus 1 is actually negative 1 half. Now again, just like the last problem, you have that negative exponent. You can take the reciprocal. So this is going to be 1 divided by 2. See the 2 is in the denominator. We're going to bring this also down to the denominator. We're just taking the reciprocal. That's going to be x to the 1 half power. But remember, the 1 half power is actually the square root. So this is 1 divided by 2 times square root of x. Now you might be saying, well,